All right, so we have a Go Westy battery isolator kit here with the battery that they supply. And we're gonna show you how to hook this battery isolator up. And we're also gonna hook a power inverter up that we got from Harbor Freight just to charge laptops and phones and things like that. So the first thing we did is disconnect the negative terminal on the main battery and then we've removed the driver's seat and then opened up the battery compartment where that's gonna go. Okay, so we have put the isolator in the compartment here and it's just hanging out. We haven't mounted it yet. And we have run the yellow and blue wire up to the fuse box. Now, we have not, as of yet, hooked up this red wire. We're gonna be doing ours differently. I'm only gonna be hooking it up to um, one of the accessories. It has you splicing a bunch of wires to hook it up to the other accessories, but I don't need to do that. This van's already been rewired. Um, we are basically, like I said, going to use this as a power inverter for a second battery. So I'm gonna come over and show you exactly where we hooked this up. We have pulled fuse number eight, and it's hard to see, but we've joined the yellow wire in there to fuse number eight, and then we cut the blue wire back here and put the T-tap on, and then plug right into that. So now we've hooked up the isolator to the bottom, and then we've done a dry fit of the battery and everything is hooked up and we have power here and we will just test with a voltometer now thing with this system is you don't know if you really did it right until you test it and uh, you've either drained a battery because it's not charging or um, you did something to your electrical system that you shouldn't have so what we did to make sure we had this hooked up correctly is we spliced some wire off one of these cheap starters here these um, uh, cigarette lighter adapters and now we've hooked a uh, load meter up and it's telling us that we're currently charging we're at 13.0 and now we're at 13.21 so we are getting power to this battery and then it'll isolate once it shuts off so we know we're correct this is going to be running its own current and then when it shuts off we won't be draining the main battery so now we have the real reason why I wanted the second battery is we just hooked up the power inverter, which is, is mindless. You hook the red up to positive, the black up to negative. We routed everything to the battery and then mounted it right behind the driver's seat. It's nice and close. Boom. You shut the power inverter off when you're not using it. Turn it on. Your constant power. We've got two outlets and a USB right in the middle. Now, this is a 400-800, it's got a built-in fan, and basically we'll wanna use it for charging just our devices when we're on the road.